election in Fall River today as voters will be deciding whether or not to recall embattled Mayor Jaisal Correa and if so, who's going to replace him? Recall election prompted after Correa pleaded not guilty to federal fraud charges. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has a preview of today's vote live in Fall River. Hey, good morning. Yeah, voters faced with just two questions today. Again, if they want to recall the mayor and which of his four opponents would they choose to replace him if so? Now, again, this recall election happening in the first place due to current mayor Jason, Jason Correa facing federal fraud charges. Now, back when those occurred, he said he had no plans to resign and the charges had nothing to do with him as mayor. He refused to step down even after thousands of citizens signed a petition and the city council also sent him a notice asking him to do so. In addition to current Maisel Jason Sir Correa. Other candidates include Fall River City Councilor Joe Camara, Erica Scott Pacheco, who works for a nonprofit, school administrator Kyle Riley, and school committee member Paul Coogan. Now, an important note whoever wins this election will only hold the office for a few months and they'll have to run again in September's election. Reporting live in Fall River, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. Your local election headquarters looking ahead to Fall River's second recall election in the last five years. Mayor Jason Correa fighting to keep his job, facing four other challengers if voters decide to recall him today. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is live outside of the Blessed Trinity Church. That's one of the polling spots in Fall River. Yeah, good morning. When voters head to poll locations like this this morning, they'll be asked two different questions. One, if they want to recall the mayor, and two, who would they choose to replace him? And that hasn't been the first time that they've seen questions like that on the ballot in the past couple of years. Now, the city actually voted to recall former Mayor William Flanagan and replace him with Sam Sutter before Correa was elected to the post. Now, on last week's episode of Newsmakers, we spoke with UMass Dartmouth professor Michael Goodman about the election. He said today, turnout will matter. Now, according to the News, the Board of Elections chairwoman says up to 25% voter turnout is expected. The last recall election had 32%. Goodman also said it's possible Correa could be recalled and keep his position. I think it's not an optimal arrangement uh, when you've got um, the voters being drawn to the polls by the recall election and then immediately having to choose. Um, I think the real issue comes up when you may have a situation where a majority of the voters in Fall River choose to recall the mayor and then a plurality, but a minority of the voters send him back to office. Mm. And so there's real concerns, I think, about um, how that could happen, what that might mean. Polls open at 7 this morning. To learn more about the list of candidates, head to our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live in Fall River, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.